What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a review comparison of the two score cards released to this date. This should be an interesting one. I say we just jump straight into the review. Okay, now I'm going to do separate reviews first. Let's take this guy out. This is the newer Kong vs. Godzilla skull crawler. It came with a heave, which I, I'm not going to review right now. But this is the main figure. This guy has a good amount of articulation. He has rotation ball joint at the tail. He has rotation at like the shoulders with the little hinge thing. Same right here at the elbow. And same both sides. He also has jaw road closing and opening and he also has a play feature where if you pull on this little tab this little piece of skin comes off and it reveals a bloodied spine he's pretty good he has a nice red coloring i believe that's because the skull cores grew above the ground instead of under the ground like in kong skull island he looks pretty good he has good eye detail which i don't think was present on the other one also the fake eye Pretty cool, you know, a little weird right there how they didn't do that pink, but it's fine. Got these cool sculpting right there. Overall, he's he's a pretty solid character, and he's, he's pretty good. Um, now we can see the other scroll card. This is the older scroll card that came out for Kong Skull Island. I believe that it was, it was in this, like, outpost playset, which is not here. And this guy is... He has a little bit better sculpting with the muscle and, you know, the ridge on his back. His feet look pretty good. Not painted, of course, or printed. His tail is stuck in this curved position. His articulation is very, very, very bad. He only has one. He only could do this. This is all he can do. He also does not have real eye printing, just the fake eye for the skull on his face. He's got a little bit of a tan underbelly. Uh, besides that, he's, he's, that's, I mean, he's not great for play. I guess he's okay for display. I, I mean, painted teeth, pretty good, more of a sculpt, less of a toy. Now I'm going to do a comparison side by side. For the side by side comparison, we can check the heights. I'm gonna do it basically. I'm gonna try and extend his legs down as far as they go. It's about as far as they go down like that. I'd say this guy's fairly taller because of the way his head and neck is sculpted upwards. Um, length, this guy's far longer since his, again, this guy's a sculpted tail is curved. Um, overall size, this guy's much larger. Uh,. So I guess I can rate them. I would rate this guy far superior. He has articulation in many more points than this one has. Um, he's, well, just a lot more fun. He has a, a play feature on his back. This guy does not. I mean, this guy was made in the intent for play. And this guy was, I don't know. So those are my thoughts. They're both pretty well fig pretty good figures. Um, I guess that that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you should go check out my other content. It's, it's pretty good. So I guess I'll see you later. Bye.